Hello everybody, welcome to this new video. We will be creating a simple but clean um, news website or blog post website could also be where we'll be recreating a little bit the style of a lot of um, a lot of news websites and the best thing is everything that I use in this video which isn't a lot, one theme and one plugin and they are both free. In the next video I'll do the same website, I'll start with the same uh, site you see here and we'll be using the same software but then the paid version of it and then we'll see or you will see which options are more um, uh, available to you if you pay for it uh, and what you can do, you can make it a bit more advanced without having any coding knowledge. Um, for this site I'm going to use two things uh, custom code wise, a little bit of code, not too much, but everything else is super easy to set up. You only actually have to create one page, this one, the home page, and all the other ones are going to be set up with some a sort of a template. Uh, so this is our home page of our news website. We have a simple footer at the bottom. We have some categories which I created. And we have our like uh, main article on top always, and then some more breaking news here on the site for people to see. And then just uploaded or recent news or whatever you want to call it is then underneath. These are just some dummy placeholders, so that's why sometimes you see a gray box instead of a picture. Um, then they have the categories here on top if they want to go to a certain category and these are this is the website fake news and then if we click on one you can click on the title or on the image to open up the article itself then it looks like this again i will show some options of course how you can make it a bit more uh, custom or different um, and then these yeah is depending on how they set up the article itself and then at the bottom you have a previous and a next one and then you also have some related or similar posts that they can scroll around in and this is something that i use a little bit of custom code for i've already made the video in the past because by default these uh, boxes don't align uh, perfectly nice if this has two lines title and there's only one line then uh, you will see by default it does not come to the bottom so i have a one line of code is enough to create a more nice looking way of similar posts okay um, if they open up a category like this we have just like an it's like an archive so we have an, uh, an archive page like this with a little breadcrumb to have them easily uh, can go back to the home page the title of the category is over here and then they have all the breaking articles inside of here sports you can go to sports in general where they will be all sports articles will be here and if there are more then you see there is a little navigation here in the bottom where they can click on and then you see here page 3 as well coming here yeah. um, so these are the general and all the articles or all the archives uh, rather are going to have the same um, layout and you see we also have like two headers we have one on top with the categories inside and then we have one with the logo i just used some text but here you would place the logo uh, and you can also put some extra uh, menus if you want to over here of course and then when they start to scroll down we make it a sticky header so it changes a bit of a the contrast is great because it changes a lot of from the dark to the light color so people notice it and it makes it easy for people to just if they are scrolling around in entertainment and they want to change they can just click here and they immediately go to the next uh, archive okay so this is the website we will be creating this as well works if you just click on it you open up the article if you see here, this is the um, what's the, what, what is the nice thing about this website that if you uh, go inside of the backend, the only thing we have here is one page, the home page that I created, and then cookies and privacy policy are two empty pages that I created for the footer menu, but they yeah, don't actually contain anything. Uh, and you still see with creating only one page, we have still one two three four all these pages are just set up in the customizer once um, and all archives will inherit these styles so we don't have to actually do too much so that's a it's a really fast way to create a complete um, website only this is requiring a little bit of work but it's still not too much the only things we have in the back end are posts you see some of them are scheduled so this is because i just used fakerpress is just a plugin that i used to create some dummy content and some of them are scheduled 
scheduled so they will be um, scheduled you see the date when they will be uh, released and then the other ones on more on the bottom uh, are going to be here all uh, site all uh, already published and you see we have the categories over here so i just created i didn't even create custom post types just the normal posts and i just created categories over here um, with the sports and then some um, children inside of the sports category as well but again you can of course do whatever you want with this okay um so this is something we will be setting up. As I said, plugins, I'm only using Cadence Blocks, the free version, and FakerPress is just because I wanted some dummy content because I don't actually wanted to write uh, 600 articles just for this demo. Um, so you might want to use it as well, but you don't uh, have to if you want to real use real content, which will be better, of course. And then appearance, we just have the free Cadence team. So we, you only need this and you only need this so these you have to install yourself and then you're good to go you can follow along with me uh, and we will be creating this awesome website which will take not too long i promise okay thanks for checking in and let's dive right into it okay so once you have the team installed you will see this page normally with one post the, the dummy post hello world you see the green colors here are probably not going to be the ones you see that's because i've already set those up but you can use whatever colors you want of course yeah uh, so just to make sure we have one plugin installed this is the cadence blocks one and i have faker press as well i'm going to use this to create the fake um articles so that i don't have to write them myself and then appearance i have my team installed the cadence free team okay the first things we're going to do if you don't have set up any colors you can do this on top by going to the customizer if you're inside of the customizer you can go to colors and fonts go to colors and then you can choose to change one of these three palettes if you choose to change palette one then this will be inherited immediately inside of the site if you use palette two or three it will by default use uh, uh, palette one normally but if you then select palette two you see now the site inherits palette two but then you have to manually change it here to palette two so i chose to change one if you want to see these are the hex values you can just if you type this in you will have the exact same color as i have this is the other hex value so you might want to use these green colors but you can do whatever you want uh, of course it's not too important just use something that you like yourself okay i think this will be better now you can see the top of the screen uh, it wasn't completely set up right so this is uh, something you might do first colors then typography what do i use i have lato as my text font and i have 16 pixels it's by default it will be 17 i think so i change it to 16 but again choose whatever you want um, if you want to check here you can check on tablet and on mobile and it's best to set it uh, if i click on reset you probably goes to 17 see by default it's 17 but i change it to 16 but it's not a huge difference um, but you might want to set this up here for tablet and mobile as well you can do this afterwards as well but then uh, the whole site will inherit it uh, immediately and it will look nice from the start um, if you want to see a font pairing you have some default ones if you click on this icon and then you have the one for the heading and one for the text so if i click on this you have to click again and then you see it looks completely different so you have you can look around and click on some of them and see what you like okay so i'm going to switch back to lato here and i have selected oswald over here but again optional if you want to set some specific font sizes here you might want to do this i'm not going to bother click on publish i'll open up my desktop view again buttons i'm not going to bother because we're actually not really going to use too much buttons or maybe none uh, so we don't have to really set this up it's set up by default you see so if there is a button it will still look fine and now we can go to the general tab uh, the layout tab i used 1300 pixels for max width but again optional you choose whatever you want content left right edge spacing this is the spacing between the edge of the screen and the start of the content um, if it's uh, less than 1300 pixels um, for a tablet normally it inherits it but you can look if i go to two rams you see it's a bit closer to the edge if i go on mobile and i only want one ram you see it's getting wider so again see what works for you i'm going to pick 1.5 2 and 3 but again play around look what you like 
look at what you like. Content top and bottom is the spacing between this and this. So if I increase, you will see it goes lower, it goes higher. I don't think I changed it on the finished product, so I'm gonna leave it at five. The narrow layout content max width, this is when you open up a post. By default, it uses the narrow narrow layout. Um, so it's you see it's more narrow than you, if you see the he header comes until here. And uh, so you see this is a little bit more narrow, so you can change if you want the post to be a little bit more wide, for example, 900 pixels, um, you can do this, uh, but it will look more obvious when we have a full article that we can review. So I'm gonna do 900 at the moment and then we can change this later, of course, if we have uh, some actual posts, complete posts uh, available to us, okay? I'm not going to change too much. I didn't change anything with the with the website you saw in the beginning, but you can set some single posts, boxed spacing, shadow uh, and stuff. So we, I'll just show you when the website is actually finished, what this does, but I didn't do anything with it uh, in the finished website that you saw in the beginning of this video, okay? The sidebar, I'm going to use it. I'm gonna set it to about 15%. Um, but again, uh, you'll see in a minute, you can uh, change this if you want to. But now there is no sidebar here. There is also no sidebar at the home page, so you uh, will not see too much, but it will be used a bit later on. Okay, images, I'm not going to change anything. Scroll to top, I'm not using uh, comments. I'm going to remove uh, because I don't want them to have comments. Breadcrumbs default because I don't have a plugin installed, but if you use one of these plugins, you can have uh, rank not Yoast or SEO press if you want to. Uh, the default one also works, it's just you saw it in the beginning, uh, so I'm using the default one. The text home was used in the website. If you want to you have an icon instead of the text, you can enable this and then you will have an icon. I'll leave it on for now so you will see in a minute. Social links, if you have some social networks you want to set up, put them in here. If you then later on use icons, then they will automatically use these links. So you only have to set up the link once. And if you use the icon on five different places, it will automatically each time use the link from here. Performance, you can uh, load Google fonts locally if you want to be GDPR compliant. Uh, and preload them here as well. But if you use a uh, optimization plugin that also does this, maybe don't do it here and then use it in your optimization plugin, but uh, just choose whatever you want. Then we go back out, uh, post pages layout. This is then the individual page layout, the single post layout and the archive layout. We'll um, maybe set this up a little bit more uh, in depth when we have actually some content because now it will be a bit difficult to follow, I think. Go to the back end, have it. Privacy policy draft is going to be there normally as well. And we're gonna add a new, again, same home page. Publish, publish, like this. Now, if you go back, you see we have to open up the customizer again, go to the home page settings and select again the home page. There we go. And now you see we have a ugly looking homepage because we don't have no content, of course. All right, this is uh, the start of it. Now we have to actually uh, provide some uh, content. First, I'm going to let FakerPress create some articles because we are immediately going to insert the articles. Um, so we don't we don't have anything yet now, so it will be empty and you won't really see the, the layout. So it's important that we first set up some uh, articles. Um, if we go to the uh, posts and the categories, you can set up your categories here if you want to. Um, so you can, I'm going to use the sports category, click on enter. I'm going to use the world category. I'm going to use the environment category. I'm going to use the politics. Uh, what did I use in the other one as well? I'm going to use breaking, lifestyle, media. But again, this might be different, of course. And then we can also set some, if you have some uh, specific things, you can, for example, use soccer and then go to parent category and select sports. And then it will be inside of sports. We have created soccer, golf, for example, and tennis. You just have to make sure every time sports has been selected as the parent category. And then you see with the little line here that it's like a child of the sports. So we have all this set up now. Now we have one post, the, the Hello World one. I'm gonna trash it because I don't uh, want this one. 
and the uncategorized you can or go to edit here and you change this to something um, so it's also a category uh, then this will be gone from the list because if we use faker press um, it's possible that it's going to use the uncategorized one as well but now I'm gonna leave it like it is but uh, you will see in a minute what I mean I go to faker press I go to posts I want I'm just gonna use 100 posts for example I want them to be spanning across this year it is only post because I don't make, didn't make a custom post type. There are no parents. Allow cam comments. No, I'm going to disable this. Use HTML. The content size, you can say how many paragraphs uh, between 5 and 15. You can change it if you want to. HTML text that can be used inside of the articles. You can change this again. Image providers, placeholder and load and pixum. You can change this as well if you want to. You can remove one of them if you want to. The excerpt size gonna leave this as well and then the taxonomies I'm gonna use the categories ones um, the rate is 100% this means that all articles should have a category and I want most now for the demo purposes I want the uh, taxonomies only to have one so if I delete this one this means that 100% of the articles will uh, inherit a category and they will only have one instead of but you can also do one until three and this means it will randomly distribute one until three categories uh, between the posts so that's also possible if you want to here you can uh, set up the uh, terms if you use them so but you see if I search I used categories so they are not uh, inside of here uh, it's only the taxonomies that I uh, used okay then the type uh, meta field rules this is the thumbnail id this is the load and pixel and placeholder again i set this to 100 percent so we have uh, every article has an has an image and then we just click on generate and it will, might take some time especially if you type in uh, a thousand posts for example it will take a whole a lot of time before it's done uh, you will see it will load and it will there will become there will come a line underneath that says the first i think it's in batches of 15 articles that have been um generated so i'll pull i'll fast forward the video until it's done so you see now it's done, it's doing it in batches of 15 and you see the last time 10, so that was 100 in total, <clears throat> but it takes a little while to generate them all. So um, if you just use it for demo purposes, you don't actually need 100, but I just did it. So we will have a likely uh, have posts in every category now. So if we go here, you see some of them are scheduled. The um, These ones are going to be uh, put out here. And other ones, if we go a little bit lower from starting from here, they are actually um, published. And you see every one of them has one category because I set it up like this uh, and not multiple. Uh, and you see it's just a random division between all the categories that we have. OK, so if we now go back to our pages, uh, we're going to set up our home page. But we're going to first set up something in the customizer. You can also do this um, in the, the edit page settings itself because we're only going to create one page but it's better to do it in a customizer because the settings from the customizer are going to be inherited standardly with every new page we create so if you set it up once correctly here you don't have to worry if you later on cre uh, create new pages instead if you use this one and later on you create new pages you will individually have to go inside of the page settings each time to set it up so it looks the same as your home page for example so it's more uh, time efficient if you do it once over here because you see now we have the page title in, in a darker gray or darker beige color and then we have a boxed content so we we want to change this up a little bit go to posts pages layout we go to page show page title bam do it away and you see immediately this is gone the default page layout we're going to use the normal width this is the 1300 pixels that i've set up in the beginning we're going to use the right sidebar like this but we're going to change the uh, sidebar of course now we're going to use the unboxed view so we don't have this white box over here content vertical padding can be uh, enabled for now and we're just going to click on publish like this and we're going to go back out this is going to be set up differently we can actually do this first if we open up the customizer again uh, we click on this little arrow you will go inside of the settings so we are customizing our widgets of sidebar one 
So we go to cut it here and this is a little bit harder to edit because the settings are more squished together because normally you have a bigger part of your screen to do this but it's still doable so the first thing is this search bar and uh, i'm gonna just remove it delete then we have the recent posts this is just a heading so we can uh, we can change this to uh, breaking news or more breaking news i think i used in the definitive more breaking news something like this um, and we can change this to a smaller one if we want to like an h4 and then here we can set up something more uh, different if you want to see all settings you will see if you click on the three dots you have here show more settings and then they will be over here so what we want to do is the newest ones is uh, good because we want to have the breaking ones here so they should be the most recent ones that we have uh, maybe use four items instead of five just that, that it's not too big um, this, these are the design settings if you want to post content we don't need post meta we also uh, don't need um, and we're going to be using category breaking over here this means that only the newest ones in the category breaking will be put out over here and not the uh, other ones, okay? We're going to change something in the settings here as well. We're going to set this to a small font size, so we click on the small one, so it's a bit more squished together. And we're also going to use in the settings, we're going to use the display featured image. It's going to be the thumbnail. We're going to use 25%, so it's quite small. And then we're going to use the align left, so it's next to the text instead of uh, underneath. And then add a link to the featured image. This means if they click on it uh, or hover over the image, they can also click on it to open up the actual article. Click on publish. And I think we have everything we need. If we go back out, you see we have something like this now. Okay, perfect. Okay, let's continue. So we have our sidebar, but I saw this one I forgot to uh, delete. Um, so let's open it up real quick, customizer. Let's go down here, click on the little blue icon, and we can just go here, click on the three dots, delete. So it's gone, publish, get, get out, and we have our sidebar over here. Now let's uh, make our homepage. We go to edit page. <clears throat> If you don't want to use the customizer settings, uh, just I'll show you so you know where they are. You have page settings for every page individually. If you click on this, you can set some uh, options here as well. So for example, if we want the right sidebar, but you only want to use it on the home page, then you can enable this here. But then in the customizer, you would have selected this as the default. So every page that you start, every new page that you create will have this setting by default, if it's on this one. But then, um, for this one we want the right sidebar for for example but now i've enabled this in the customizer so we have the right sidebar so i can leave this to default but you can also this will always override if you change this from default to something specific it will override the settings from the customizer just so you know okay so the first thing we're going to do is insert a row layout we can click on this plus go to the row layout and we're going to insert it with one column like this we're going to set this to use the team content inner width this means it will use the 1300 pixels as a maximum width that i've set up and then we're going to insert our posts block this one the blue one this is the cadence block so we have our posts getting inserted but we want only one post to start with so we're going to change this to one and I want it to be the newest to oldest, so it will always use the most recent post, but I only want the breaking category. I want my, the breaking category is like breaking news, the more important news, so I only want the newest breaking news to be over here. So we're going to select the breaking category. So this means breaking category is selected now, and it will always name or take the most recent uh, breaking category article to display here. Okay, we're gonna put this on show unique. This means that posts in this block will not show up in others on the same page. So um, you will see in a minute, I will use another posts block um, under, underneath. Um, and if I don't en enable this, this article that's over here will also be displayed in the second block. And if we enable show unique, this means this will be the only place where it has been shown. And then if we reuse the same block, this one, the posts block, um, it will be excluded by default. Layout settings, I'm going to use one column only. So it's next to each other like this. The image can be on the left and the style should be unboxed. 
All right, let's click on update and we're going to view our page to see how it looks now. So now we have something like this. We have a little bit of space in between. We have our title, but in the news article site, you will normally not really see all these uh, details. Maybe if you open up the article by clicking on the title, then maybe, but this not. Okay, so we're going to remove this. We're going to remove this and we're also going to remove this. We just want people to be able to click on the title or the image to open up the article. So how can we do this? We can go to the top and open the style tab. We can set the font to extra large, so we have a really big title, so it's more obvious. And then the image settings are enabled. 3 by 2 is fine and medium large is also fine. And then enable the above title category. We can remove this, so the breaking tag uh, is going to be removed. You can do whatever you want, of course. And now I also want to remove this. I also want to remove the excerpt and remove the read more. So now we have a more simple block without too much distractions. If I open up and click, you see this is going to be my um, article, uh, most important article. The only thing I would like is that the image is a bit bigger uh, to the text, uh, but there are no settings in this free block to do this. You see, we can't really do anything more we can't say that the image we can here say the image should be the full image but you will see this is just going about the quality of the image you see it doesn't really change the uh, the division between the image and the title so if i open this up in a inspection view you will see let me close this we have an article and you see now the highlight the purple color is the is the gap in between and then you see the two columns and you see the image is like half of what the title takes in and i would love it to be making this a little bit more equal so they have both the same and you see this is because this is set to one fr two fr so i don't know why it's not possible because it's quite easy because it's literally here in the code but i'll show you we can just if you select the article itself and then you copy this whole block of text that's here in the underneath Make sure you have everything, you don't leave anything open. Then we're going to copy this, we're going to go inside of the customizer. We're going to do additional CSS. This is something else, let's remove it. We're going to use Command V. So this is a media query, this means that only above this amount of pixels this should be applied. And then we're going to open up the brackets, that's also always important. Remove one and then we're going to put the bottom bracket over here. That was wrong over here like this so now we have uh, the media query opened and then we have to do the same here as well open brackets and now we can set up our grid template columns and we're just going to say one if r one if r so now you see you see the difference now this means one if r one if r one fraction one fraction so this means that the available space will be equally divided between the image and the title so if you go out you will see now we have a bigger image it's maybe another good article because we have the placeholder instead of an image but now it's a bit more nice we have a, a nice big image and the title being similar if you <clears throat> make it 2FR, 1FR, this means that the title will only have one fraction and the image will have two fractions, so you can play around with it, but I liked it more just with an equal, equal division. That, let's continue. Let's open up uh, our... So we have the row layout with a section and the post block inside. Let's just add another one, so we can just click on duplicate. So we have another row layout now with this exactly the same block, but we have to change some settings now as well. So we go inside, we have the posts block uh, selected, and we're going to say newest to oldest, maybe nine items. You can make it more if you want to. Um, we don't want to filter by cat category. I want all uh, different categories here to be enabled. You can also and show unique, we're going to disable. Layout settings, I'm going to make it three column and tablet maybe two columns style unboxed or boxed you can we can see in a minute uh, let's maybe make the title a little bit smaller the image size can be medium large it is sufficient normally and here you can here you can choose if you want the different so people can see maybe this is more um, important to enable it here so people have an uh, 
a little view about which article they are going to read lifestyle politics tennis and you see quite easily without having to do too much effort we actually have a quite nice looking um quite nice looking homepage already the only thing i want to do now is here make a little uh, division between the two so if we go up one and up another so we have the row layout again selected you see it over here i have my row layout i go to the styling tab to the border settings and i'm going to click on this here so i have my individual border settings i'm going to go to the top border one pixel in the greenish color and i'm going to use not a default border but i'm going to use a double line like this click on update click on refresh and now we have a little border over here let's make this line a little bit bigger because you don't really see the two two lines now so let's make this three pixels now you see that the two lines will be visible so now we have like a little two line uh, division the other thing is maybe add a little bit of text here above um, so if we go inside of this section we have our posts block i'll select it click on the three dots and then insert or add before and then we can search with a slash to the text block to the advanced text block of cadence gonna make this in uh, just a normal text or maybe an h6 and then just uh, recent news uh, or most recently uploaded or whatever you want to call it and let's see how it looks okay so they have a more like a, a little title that reminds them that this is the most recent news if you want the content to be just as wide as this block we can do that as well if we open this up we go to the advanced tab we uh, make sure we have no padding on the left and on the right like this then you will see that the the width of this border is going to be the same as the width of the content um, and then we can maybe do the same for this as well so if we select the row layout we go to the advanced and we come to the right you see by default it's empty but it does not mean that there is no padding setup and it's uh, if you use the team settings like i've enabled then sometimes it just uses some padding by default so we're gonna remove this update and if we refresh now you see we have a more nice looking layout with the recent news over here we can make a little bit more uh, spacing in between if you want to i'll just show you every advanced text block so now i have it uh, selected here can be with the advanced tab you have some padding and margin control so we can go to the bottom and we can say maybe a extra large if you want to use custom values you just click on this icon and then you can put in uh, whatever value you want let's see how it looks now so now there is a bit more space between the title here and the actual articles okay um now you will see this is actually most of the work has already been done the customs uh, homepage has been uh, created if you click on an article we get something like this so this is also by default with the cadence team with and you see some uh, similar posts here and here leave a reply so we can disable this if we want to but this is something we have to fix with code as well i've already made the video a really small one how to fix this and we're going to do this as well inside of this video so this box gets just as low as the other boxes okay um maybe first let's go to the uh, um home pages again and we're going to fix the header first so it's immediately going to look a bit more uh, like a real site then so we can go to the header tab over here we have the by default you will have primary navigation and logo inside of the main row uh, if you have a logo you can upload it i've just used some text but if you have a logo you should upload this uh, upload this over here of course and then instead of this text there will be the logo shown here then you have to enable this so it only shows the logo because but i don't have one so it's empty so that's why i sh chose here logo and title and then it's also going to use the title that you provide over here so the title was fake news for example and then we have it over here you can change the design you see, this is not going to be the default design it's probably yeah you see it's already has some custom styling so i've used oswald i've set it to the uh, font that i use for my headings as well like over here uh, and then the styling uh, the most fatty one that i can have and then size you can change the font size if you want to and we can also transform but i'm maybe going to use the not uppercase one over here okay 
Again, you can change this to whatever you want. We can also make it more obvious that when they hover over that there is a more an, uh, a different color. Um, but then maybe keep with the greenish color here. Publish. So we have this enabled. Now for the top row, we're going to remove the primary navigation. It's possible to use it if you want to use it, but I'm not going to use it here. And now we're going to go to the top row here and we're going to go in the right column. You click on the, the column here and then you will see you have some options. This You have more options if you have the paid team. Uh, with the free team, these are the options you have. So we can use a secondary navigation as well uh, or the primary navigation. Um, I'm just going to use this as a secondary navigation. Uh, click on it uh, so it's inside. Now it's taking the home page, but I'm going to change this to click on the gear icon. We're going to see with the general tab, there is no menu selected, so we're going to select one and we're going to have to create a secondary theme here. So create a new menu, secondary menu name is going to be categories, for example, or you can call it secondary menu, whatever you want. And now we're going to click on add items. And we're going to go to categories and you can add, I'm going to add politics. It will be in the same order as you add them here, but you can later on uh, drag them around as well. World, environment, and then we're gonna go sports, media, lifestyle, and then underneath sports, I'm gonna also insert golf, but I'm gonna drag it, and you see if it makes like, a, I can put it like this. This is going to be a separate category. If I put it like this, it's gonna be a child of sports. Tennis is the same, and then soccer is also going to be the same, like this. All right, let's click on publish. And now you see here on top, we have our categories uh, enabled. Now, the only thing I want to do is make the background dark. So we click on the gear icon here or, or the pencil icon over here. Or if you go to the header again, just click on this, it's the same. We're gonna go to the design and we're gonna go background, gonna select the dark color. And then we have to, of course, change back the coloring here so we click on this pencil icon again and we can go to the white color to be standard then the hover color is going to be the greenish and then the active can also be the greenish color like this this can also be styled if you want to then you have to go to the drop down options uh, these are over here you can change the width you can make a uh, reveal so now there is none if you do fade it's going to more fade in fade down it's going to fade from the and fade up they are just some little animations you can do whatever you want design if you want to change the background but i think it's better to have the same background and by default i think it's readable well enough but if you want to you can change this if uh, of course you can also change the font you can also change the font size if you find it too small you can make it a bit bigger do what you think is best for your site so this is looking fine for me. Let's first click on publish, do hide control so we can see it in real life. <clears throat> and now we can make this a sticky header as well. This also just for free and free team is possible. Go to sticky, enable, yes. And I'm going to choose only the top row. So I only want this to be enabled. Um, you can, if you want to enable sticky for mobile, by default it will be no. You can do yes, but on mobile it's often not so nice because you already have a small screen and if there is a uh, bar just uh, on top, it's just not readable enough. So I'm going to leave this to the default no. And this means now when I scroll down that the header is going to stick up. But you see now we have to change the design as well. Change the design tab. We can go to the background of the header maybe select a grayish color let's see maybe a little bit more darker gray like this and so there is a, a division between the side background and the background of the header i'm going to make it a bit transparent we can do this over here so we can see through a bit maybe not too much like this and then we just have to have to change the navigation colors like this maybe just take all black and then green green if they hover and if they click on and click on it okay so we have a nice looking header now 
and it stays on top you can make it a bit less transparent if you think it's too much uh, again these are personal things you can change this to whatever you want so this works fine and now the, most of our work is actually already done if you want to you can make a second menu over here so we have our breaking and our categories over here and then here we have the your logo or i just used some text and it's also possible to add another menu over here if you want to yeah um, the other thing we have to check here is the footer so customizer again instead of header we go one below to the footer settings scroll down so we see it again you have one two three rows to work with so you can qu make quite uh, impressive footers if you want to but for this side i'm going to keep it simple copyright stays where it is um, you can if you don't want them to see that it's made with a certain team you just delete the text and then you only have this left you can choose it i always choose this so it's nice in the middle uh, i also choose this so it's also in the middle um, and i'm going to scoot is over one row so we have three columns to work with it's also possible to change the bottom row to three columns like this so it's the same you can do that as well and um, so what we can do now is add something else we can you see if you click on it you have footer navigation that's an add, another menu you can add click on the gear icon select the menu go to footer over here we don't have a menu set up so we can create a new one we call this the footer menu footer menu and then we're going to click on next and we're going to add items and these can be two pages but i don't have them set up now so i'm going to create them over here privacy policy for example and cookies and click on add so we have two pages click on publish and these are now in the bottom here we're going to add some styling as well we're going to make this because you see now already this is higher than this so it's not looking fine so that's why i always choose choose the middle one and here also the middle one so they are nice and the middle aligned and then over the right column we can for example use the socials if you have some socials um, same thing uh, with the socials we can click on the gear icon and make it middle aligned and make it middle aligned so everything is exactly in the same spot and then if you have set up the links uh, in the customizer then it will automatically be applied over here so make sure you have set up the links in the customizer and you have some different options uh, of icons you can uh, use and you can also use the outlines instead of the felt icons if you like this more that's also a possibility and then the hover color can be maybe the greenish color so they see they are hovering over like this voila looking fine the only thing we should check is if we go to the tablet view and this is looking fine and this is looking fine if you did not enable the middle middle it inherits this you don't have to set this up for mobile and tablet individually because it will inherit it from the desktop once we have specifically set up but if you didn't do this in desktop it will look not nice on tablet and mobile and you still have to click on these uh, to make it work okay and you see actually that the other um, articles are looking fine already maybe here you might want to make the image a little bit smaller but i think it's fine on mobile also it's not looking too bad the only thing we have to check now is our mobile menu you see it changes back for mobile to our default menu and we want the maybe also the categories so how can we do this this is the fake news over here you see this is the logo same thing we have already set up and the trigger we have now this is the hamburger icon we can also add some text next to it if you want to be it to make it more obvious that this is the menu and we can also uh, icon size you can set this up and um, to make it a little bit bigger and you can set up the colors and the font as well if you want to the other thing we have here is the uh, drawer container options this means if we click on it is it a side panel like now or is it full width like this you can choose again what you like does it have to come from the right from the left and where does the content has to be aligned i'm going to leave everything like it is i'm going to use the dark color with the white text it's fine for me but i want to change the menu and we can do this here in the off canvas if we go to the mobile navigation click on the gear 
we're going to select the menu and we're going to go to mobile and we're going to select our categories we already set this one up click on publish and open this up and now you see we have the same uh, options as the normal desktop one if you click on this arrow you have the uh, more children but you can't you can also click on the sports now and you will go to the sports category if you don't want this you can change this in the settings um, where the entire parent menu item expands the submenu. So if you click on this, you will see that now you can click on sports how much you want. It will not open the sports category. You always have to click on one of the children to open a specific uh, child. So this is something you might want to do, but if you want them to be able to also open the sports category uh, by itself, then you, they have to click on this little arrow. Otherwise, they go to the sports category. Choose what you want. Go back to desktop. Let me remove this. And now we have to do something about our archives because you see I already opened one up. If they click on this, you see we have the breaking one, uh, but it's not looking too nice now. We can maybe change some stuff. We can do this with the post pages layout. And then we go to the archive layout. We can show the archive title. I'm going to do it in content. So it's not in a different, so more like this. And then we're also going to the, so the alignment is fine in the left side. I might want to enable the breadcrumbs so they have an easy way to go back to the home page. You can drag this to make it to, to put it like this, or you can put it on top if you liked it on top. I think on the site I showed in, showed in the beginning, it was underneath, but again, you can choose whatever you want. Description, this is something if you have set it up, you see I don't, uh, I did not do it. I will show you where you can uh, enable it. Um, if I go back here, I'll open up a new tab. If we go to our uh, posts, to my categories, I have my breaking. If I click, if I click on quick edits, no, if I click on edits, you see here description most recent important news if i uh, put something inside here click on update and then uh, enable the description you will see now if i um, open up my breaking category most recent important news so this is the uh, description if you want a little extra info then you can do it that way so i'm gonna disable it but again it's completely up to you the archive layout, I'm going to use normal. This means that you're going to use the 1300 pixels. I don't want a sidebar here. Box or unboxed is up to you. I like the boxed one more, I think. Archive columns, three is fine for me. And then you can see here, it's already on a breaking category. So everything will, of course, be breaking. So I think I might want to disable the breaking one. Just click on the eye icon and you see it's gone. The title, of course, um, I don't want the by uh, person here. I also don't want the excerpt. I just want them to click on the article and read more. Maybe also not what I want. Meta, I'm going to remove the author, but maybe I want to keep the date. So they have a bit of a heads up, which is the most recent one like that. Okay, um, then we can check here again, if we go to tablet view, two columns, if we go to mobile, one column, and this is all working without having to do anything, so it saves us a lot of work. You can change this individually if you want on mobile the text to be over here, for example. By default, it will inherit what you selected on the desktop one. Okay, I think this is fine. Then the nice thing is that this now works for every archive. Every archive now have this, has the same styling without having to set this up individually. So this is nice. Um, if we then go back and open up a single post, we can also do some stuff here. If we go back, single post layout, show post title. We can choose to do this yes or no. We can do it like this. And then it's going to be on top or we can do this inside of the post and then it's over here here we might you might want to have a, a, a little notification who wrote it and the date this is maybe more uh, suitable in inside of the article you can again enable a breadcrumb if you want to so they can go back from here to the archive or they can go back to the home page that's an easy way to let them navigate to your site you can enable or disable whatever you want you can also remove the, uh, the post title itself. Categories, again, you can, and you have some styling options as well. I like the pill one more. So this means it's more like in, in a little pill uh, to be displayed. The title, you can only 
remove it or enable it meta you can choose again which divider you want the little dot now has been used you can also do a line you can also use a clock you can choose what you like the most i want not to be able to click on the author so this one should not have an accessible archive so i'm gonna disable you can also write or written by you can change this whatever you want show the date, date yes and then you can also say uh, a late a label posted on uh, whatever you want comments nope i'm not going to show this and default post layout is going to be the narrow width so this means it's going to use the 900 pixels that i've set up in the customizer like this i maybe want to remove the top spacing here and, and this is this content vertical padding only use it on the bottom on the top you see it's now going to stick to the to the header and on the bottom we have some spacing left we want to show the featured image but i maybe want to use it in a, as a full stretch post navigation related post yes comments nope click on publish let's maybe hide it one more time so now it's like this we have the relate similar posts over here and we have oh this is show comments is normally in disabled you can uh, add some um, coloring and fonts if you want to i'm gonna just leave it as it is i like it let's go out let's click on one and see so this is nice this is nice they can go back to the category over here or over here they can also go back to the home page it's easy to read they can go to next and a previous article easy and they had a similar post and you see the comments are gone it was just not updated inside of the customizer now let's fix this here fix this here go to inspect and we're going to select the article again like we did before but now it's the article inside of the carousel so you see this is the one and we're gonna remove or we're gonna add something to make this bigger so carousel item is something we have to select over here command c and we're gonna select then the article inside of this carousel item but we have to do this in the customizer so open it up again Let's remove this. Let's go to additional CSS. Let's put the media query at the bottom. Let's click dot command V, carousel item, then use this icon and select the article. And then select the brackets, open them up, and then we're going to write height 100%. And click on publish if you're not sure you're going to remember why you did this you can always leave a comment by doing slash then this icon and then you can write um, similar posts and then close it off like this and then you have a little uh, text notice that you know which why you did this and why you did this for example you can write another one click on publish remove it and now you will see if we go to the bottom voila everything is exactly the same height so this looks fine okay so again if you want to change some styling and coloring you can do this you can uh, always change the side background you see now and there is a, a, a darker color on top then we have the white uh, second header and then we have like a more beige gray color for the archives itself on the home page we don't have the uh, division so we might want to change this so it's the same as the archives can do this so we have now you see the the header and the background is the same so if we open up the page settings again we go to the uh, we can do this uh, bum, bum, bum. maybe we can do this in the customizer that's going to be better so it's going to be the same for every page because otherwise it's again one individual page and all the other ones not page layout we can go to design and we can here set the site background and the content background to be something like this you see the difference immediately 
click hide the controls and now you see it has the darker gray color and a white color on top the footer if you want it to be more obvious that there is a division again you change the best is to change just the background color so we have some uh, middle row is the one we use background let's just take white click on publish again and now you see the division a white footer a little bit darker color for the home page itself and then again white on top like this so this works fine looks like i want to the individual articles work fine work like i want to they can go to the next to the previous similar posts are fixed so i think actually we are as good as done so this is all done with the free cadence team with the free cadence blocks plugin and i used faker press for the setup of the dummy content if you liked this little video then uh, please leave a like and maybe subscribe to my channel it helps me it motivates me to keep updating and putting out new content and uh, as i said i'll try to make a new video with the cadence team pro and with the cadence blocks pro also only two two pieces of software you need and we're i'm going to show it's um, immensely what you can do with the pro team and with the cadence blocks pro so i'm not going to show everything but i'm just going to use the same site to as a starting point and we're just going to switch out the free posts block with the paid uh, or the pro posts block and i'll show you we can then add some categories on top so we can easily filter and stuff so we have a little bit more advanced stuff uh, but still really easy to set up okay hope this was helpful and as always thank you for watching and see you in the next one